Whoa, it's cold outside and windy. And everything is blowing all over the place. Let me show you something, folks. This is a uh, January winter in um, in Ontario. It's been so cold. Uh, last night, it was actually freezing rain around midnight when I came home. Uh, let me... Let me show you. I don't know if you can make it out here. That is uh, some of the freezing rain that was on the car. It's still caked on. Thank God I've got um, a um, PPF on this. I mean, not a big, huge deal, but uh, it was actually worse. It's actually dried up a little bit. But uh, what I wanted to show you was this. Um, it's, what this is, is like a dental film that I got from my dentist friend, Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. And um, so the doors don't freeze up because like I said when I came home last night around midnight it was uh, starting to freezing rain so I put this stuff on to see if it were protected against the other doors so I put it on here and I want to see if it makes a difference uh, I didn't put it on uh, the other three door handles so I'm gonna check these other door handles first see if they're frozen that one doesn't seem to be that bad let's move around to the uh, passenger side here and check this out it's really windy too today folks so i've got the wind muff on so i don't know if that's going to make a difference this one yeah that one was a little sticky but it wasn't that bad uh, and this one that one's fine so let's go back around here i wonder if the charge port is actually frozen let's check that first the charge port no i've been lucky i haven't had a uh, much problems with the charge port in terms of freezing uh, and getting stuck in there. I've had it where it freezes and it doesn't charge fully, which is another video, but uh, I can show you that video probably today. Uh, but in terms of actually freezing in there and getting stuck and can't pull it out, I haven't had that problem. So let's take this off and see if it makes a difference. It's uh, adhesive, but it's a very light adhesive, so it doesn't uh, leave any film or anything like that on your car. So it comes off really quickly and easily. I know the door I wouldn't say it's any worse or any better um, but like I said I left it a little probably a couple hours too long I should have uh, done this video a little sooner when there was more of this kind of freezing rain ice buildup it was all here this morning around 8 o'clock when I took the kids to school um, I waited and um, I don't think it melted but it might have made a difference so this is dental dam I, I don't know if you can get this yourself somewhere but like I said I got it from a dentist friend and I've uh, been using it a handful of times you know what this winter hasn't been that bad so I can't really complain this winter this is the first time we've had a, a little dusting of snow well, not the first time maybe the second time here in southern Ontario but um first time we've had any kind of freezing rain as, as I guess you could call it uh, you can see the difference of how it protected it this was where the freezing rain was let me just zoom in this is where the freezing rain was and if I didn't have it on uh, it would be all down here but you can see the distinct line of where it actually stopped and uh, all this is just because I was putting it on while it was still wet well that's a little quick little test a little quick little video of um, what you have to put up with with a model 3 in a sub-zero temperatures in southern Ontario in northern Ontario I'm sure it gets way 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 more snow and uh, I've seen some of the videos from uh, uh, some of the other Tesla guys on YouTube and they're uh, putting up with a lot more snow and a lot more uh, problems thanks for watching folks it's really cold I'm going back inside okay folks just noticed a little uh, issue with my charging port you know the new charging port can't come soon enough by Tesla let me go open the door here take this out let me close this okay open it back up again open this up plug this back in and when I plug it in it's all the way in um, it goes makes ticking noises goes from blue to green hear the ticking noises then it goes to yellow it's trying to charge and then if I look at the app here it says a uh, charge cable may not be plugged in correctly limited charging and it says it's charging 12 kilometers an hour but uh, usually that's about 47 so I don't know if that's gonna creep up or not but if I come down here it's still yellow 
Now, I don't know if that means the, um, the car's been sitting for a couple hours outside and uh, it's probably about minus six, minus seven Celsius. So I don't know if the charging port is frozen on this or not. I've tried this like at least two or three times and it's done the same thing. So going back to the app, you can see that it's still, um, it's uh, still showing the same, actually even less now, it's saying 11 kilometers an hour. So I don't know, I'm gonna leave it and see what happens. I'll try it one more time and show you, watch. Unplug it. Shows that it stopped there. Go back to the thing. Oh, let me open it back up again. Oh, hold on, you gotta open the door first. Unlock the car. Go back. Open it back up. Plug her in. Make sure it's all the way in. Like how I normally do it. You'll see. Go from blue to green. Now to yellow. And you can hear that ticking noise it's made that ticking noise it's making and of course back up to the app and you'll see the same message is appearing i'll leave it overnight and see what happens folks and i'll let you know in the morning thanks for watching folks i'll talk to you later see ya. Bye -bye.